We are in the garden with Nick Fedorov talking the science of soil. The science of soil. And Fun. soil comes in a lot of different shapes and forms and all that. And sometimes we buy it in bags. And I want to let you know that bags come in different sizes. So here's one that is a half a cubic. Okay. And so for the limited hand strength, you can pick that up. This one here is a one and a half cubic one, a little bit bigger. Okay. So depending yeah. on what your needs are, ooh, and ooh, this one is this hefty. Is, this, is a, this right here, I'm not even going to try to pick it up. Yeah, yeah. It's a two cubic foot bag. Okay. But you know, it's interesting that you mentioned that because. Uh, because it is so heavy, there are different ways of opening these bags. If you're going to be using just a, a little bit of this soil, then you open it from the top. But if you're going to be using the whole bag, yeah, you cut from here, you cut That's from so here weird, right? to here. No, you cut from here to here. Then you just take a little bit out, and then you can roll it up. Oh. If you're going to use the whole thing, right? Yes, cut it over. In fact, why don't you go ahead and do that? Try it. Yeah, just cut it. Take from up, up or down. Doesn't matter. Okay. Just go straight down. There you go. There we go. Yeah, I got it. Did you get that? I got it. Okay, good. Now what we do, now what we do, well, technically, I almost got it. technically, there we go. I'm supposed to get it all the yeah. way. <laughs> so then what, we, then what we end up doing is that we take and we just pick up the whole bag okay. like this. And let it and go. everything and comes out. And see it out, how easy. Yeah, it really is. Much easier. Ah, that's nice. So that being said, I'm going to grab a little bit of this right here and we're going to put this inside of our bucket because we're going to do something pretty schnazzy Ooh, with it. Oh, I'm excited to see. Okay, so here we have different types of soils and composts and mulches, which is really interesting because a mulch and a compost are two different things. A mulch can be something that is organic or inorganic. And a compost is always organic. But today, we're going to use everything as an organic for the most part. So here's the way that soil works. Soil has airspace in between all of the all of its particles. And that airspace is important because that's where roots travel. So if we were to take something like this and to give you an example of what we're going to do. So take this and pour this through here and watch how fast. Okay. So this is the so look, look how fast the water yeah. goes through. Okay, so that's filling up all the airspace. Now, if we were to take it, whoops, oh, there you're 100% full. So that is, that's that's complete saturation. So you know that if you, what, is, what do rocks have to do with it? Well, we have a lot of our, uh, there's a lot of our soils here in Southern California that are extremely sandy. So what we want to do is we want to see that we have to fortify, go ahead and pour okay. that in. We have to fortify, and it's going to take longer. It's going to take much yeah, longer. Yeah, go ahead and drop yeah. it all the way in. All the way. Much longer, so we know that the we know well, that there the, it goes. We know that the pore space, yeah. the the smaller that it is, the yes. slower it's going to go. Okay. Now you go closer into the valley, and you're going to find out that you have clay. So if you can get that water right yeah. there, and pour just that pour there. that in there, okay, and. Uh, We'll see how long it takes. Much longer. Much longer. Look, yeah. look how slow that is. I mean, how long would that take? Oh, you know what? It all depends. It all. This would probably probably take at least maybe three, four minutes for it to go all the yeah. way through. As we can tell, the bigger the pore space. So what we end up doing here is that we use composts to open up and also to save the water and to add to whatever it is that we're right. doing. Right. So here what we're going to do is that we're going to use several different types of mixes to help life out. Okay. Water is going to evaporate. So if you were to take uh, cedar bark, and this is all from LGM, and these, they've been around for a long time, take the cedar bark and just put it right on top because okay. now what we're doing is that we're mulching. And this mulching process is going to stop it, stop the moisture from coming up. Yeah, and just go ahead and just place it right on top like that. And then you can use something like this, which is called leaf mold, and you could do the same exact thing. Right up here. Right up here. Okay. And look at, so you're, gonna, you're creating different looks. Different textures. And different textures right? for your landscape. And finally, we have uh, we have just a planting mulch and okay. mix. Or we can use the one that we just got out of the bag over here. <laughs> that just big put it, bag. Yeah, just put it this big and you're going to be all right. Okay. So if anybody wants any information, come to my website, thingsgreen.com. Look up LGM Soils on online and you'll be able to help your lawn and gardens out. You've put me to work. Yes. Let's keep going. <laughs>